In the downtown neighbourhoods of Haiti's ruined capital, you get glimpses of some unusual buildings still standing. They're known as gingerbread houses, with an architectural style fusing European influence with indigenous Haitian design, the result resembling something out of a fairy tale. Many are over 100 years old. Almost all survived the earthquake unscathed while concrete collapsed around them. If you should like this, we are holding. If you should like this, we are holding. Yeah. Yeah. As Haitian engineer Patrice Milfort explains, the wooden frame of the gingerbread houses is what made them resist the ground shaking. Uh, well, here's going to be the sitting area. The kitchen is going to be outside. He's um, developing this 19th century house into a restaurant. But for Patrice, it's not just the structural design that makes them special. That's uh, this time of houses, we remind you of Haiti. When Haiti was nice, was beautiful, was uh, enjoyable, that people could live and then uh, has the best time of Haiti. The gingerbreads recall a bygone era when Haiti was known as the Pearl of the Antilles, with Port-au-Prince a spotless tourist mecca. But in decades to come, dictatorship and flawed international aid policy would take their toll on the economy. And as an impoverished population flocked to the capital for work, cheap housing was thrown up using concrete and rebar, the consequences of which proved catastrophic on January the 12th. Haiti's earthquake brought down up to 200,000 buildings in the space of just 30 seconds. But while the priority now is on building new housing for those displaced, Haitian architects say they hope that in building for the future, developers will remember lessons of the past. It was built at the end of the 19th century. Okay. So it's actually a building built for an uh, old president, Haitian president. Oh, really? Yeah. Olson Jean Julien is heading a project to That's promote sound. the gingerbreads as an example of how rebuilding should be done. So we can build shelters for people to stay. We can give them food, you can give them medicine, but create a future for them needs see your start. You you need to create spaces that where people can find some significance. But on the streets where reconstruction has already started, the mixing of concrete is a common sight. With so many priorities on the table, looking to Haiti's architectural heritage as inspiration for its future may not be high on the list. Sebastian Walker, Al Jazeera, in Port-au-Prince, Haiti.